I wonder why Ruben asked to come in on this Saturday. Well, I don't really know. Um, I heard it was a special meeting, something to do with the dot mot. I don't know. I can't believe why the rest of us have served them drinks then. No, well I bet they want something stronger. Do you think they still want the biscuits? No, don't give them the biscuits. No. They'll eat the lot. <laughs> we'll have them on our break tomorrow. Ooh. Good idea. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Yeah. Oh, I've never seen you so time. busy. What's going on? Good to see you there. Here. Yeah. What's going on? Well, I don't know. All I know is you're asked to attend an urgent meeting. I don't know anything well, I did think it was unusual. We usually closed on a Saturday. Now, what can I get you? Uh, hmm, oh. What can I get you? <laughs> Tea, coffee, something stronger, don't maybe me. Don't stop. Try <laughs> a wee dram if you can. <laughs> Bonnie you Lassie. You have to flip all the things in trousers. Yes. Just stop. 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 Thank you for making yourselves available to attend this urgent meeting here tonight. Hello everyone, I'm Inspector Cruising again. <laughs> this is a very serious matter. There has been a murder at the dock earlier today. Yes. The body was found at 1.30 p.m. But we think the time of death was around 11.48 a.m. I'm waiting for the exact time to be confirmed. You need to listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. It's too long to repeat. Um, a murder! <laughs> <laughs> yes, a murder! <laughs> William Creek, my brother-in-law, as it happens, known better as Lily Creek, age 64, was found dead in the main drain. It would appear that he had been hit very hard with a scaffolding tube, or a pipe very similar to the one used to guide the winch cables along. Hello, I'm Inspector. Deputy Inspector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not promote yourself. I know you're usually a relative that is found guilty, but not one of you are related to Willie Creek. Fisher, go and contact Dr. Payne for me, please. I need some more information. Will do, boss. Anyway, I have reason to believe that anyone of you nine could have committed the murder, as you all had a falling out with my brother-in-law. In case you missed that last time. <laughs> <laughs> and you were seen at the dock early today, and now my Willie is dead. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I have summoned you all here tonight. I will try hard and will level the plot and expose you all to the audience. Oh. Give the reason. Why he was murdered. <laughs> May Ryder, you had a reason to kill him because he refused to launch your boat as your trailer was unsafe. <laughs> Apparently, you were absolutely crazy. And we heard, we heard saying that you would kill that Willie Creek oh. if it was the last thing that you did. Oh. Now, May Ryder, tell me about yourself and what's happened at the dock. Today, please. Hello, I'm May Ryder. I'm 28 years old. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. I help make brews in the cabin at the dock working parties. Willie refused to launch my boat, even though it had been in the diary for weeks. He said he'd inspect expected me back mm. end oh, of the trailer, but it was unsafe. He's a flipping old git. Actually, before he retired from BAE, I heard rumours in the canteen that he was going to be the dock master here. 
and everyone said he was a stickler for the rules and would be very unpopular. Earlier today, I did say I would kill him if it was the last thing I did. It was just a figure of speech. Did you know, Inspector, he was the most hated man at the dock. He was. Arthur Aitus, you had a reason to kill him because he refused to launch your boat as you had no insurance. According to witnesses at the dock, you said you would, and I quote, bloody kill that useless Willie. <laughs> well, hello. I'm Arthur Aitus and I'm 52 years old. <laughs> I help on the winch when boats are launched. Unfortunately, this goodwill didn't get me far as Willie was a bit of a stickler for rules and regulations and Willie was not willing to bend the rules and wait for a couple of weeks until I got insurance for my boat. She's a grand old girl, is Lady Strider. The best boat for miles. And although I've got the money to insure her, I just haven't got round to it yet. Oh. Oh. It's not a problem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Willie was a proper stickler for the rules when we got when we worked together at BAE two. We did get into an altercation of sorts earlier today, and yes, I did say I was going to bloody kill Willie, mm -hmm. but, but like Manny over there said, it's just words. I didn't mean it. And Willie had a reputation for being an obstacle to procedure, and he was the most hated man at the dock. Jimmy Magopa. <laughs> <laughs> Gets worse. <laughs> you too had a reason to kill Willie and was seen by numerous people in a blazing row in the early today in the cabin. You were heard making threats towards him, telling everyone that he wanted you off the site as you had been sleeping on your boat. And it is against the rules. <laughs> this would have made you homeless, and you were dead. And I say, and I quote again, you would see to it he would get his come up and <laughs> you're each <laughs> I'm Jimmy McGorper and I'm 48 no I don't and I'm from Bonnie Scotland I came on my wee boat <laughs> and I am a wee bit struck for cash, you can. <laughs> Willie had found out that I've been sleeping on my boat, and the rules, and that's against the rules. I, I did say he would get his comeuppance, but Inspector, your bums off your head. <laughs> if you think I murdered Willie, I would have had to jump really high to hit him on the head. You can what I mean. Have you seen the bleeding height of him next to me? Willie was like Angus McCaskill. Do you remember Angus McCaskill? <laughs> the Scottish giant, and I am like Tom Thumb against him. Yes. However, I did join the hate Willie talk in the cabin, and I, there is no mistake, he was a real dunderheed and the most hated man at the dock. <laughs> <laughs> right, honey hands up. Oh. You were heard making threats towards old Willie, saying that he said he had no room on the hard standing for your boat, and you would kill that Willie Creek because he has it in for you. Oh, I'm honey. Honey hands off. No. I'm 24 Me. years old. No. 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 I'm a bit of a magpie and I like to go after things. People keep telling me to keep my hands off their shiny stuff. But I do the washing up after the dock working parties and I needed to gel coat my hull. 
I have this lovely sparkling glitter paint and it's got lots of lovely bits of glitter in it and I asked for a space on the hard standing but Willie said it was full. I was fuming and I did say that I would kill him but I didn't though, I honestly didn't and I bet it was his own fault he was murdered because he was the most, everything was always his fault and he was the most Man at the dark. Dark. <laughs> 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 Every night, yeah. you called it, Spencer. You two <laughs> for that <laughs> with Willie. Sorry, you two for that with my Willie. You wanted the bird, as yours was too muddy, and you refused your outright. You were heard saying he was a dead man. Oh. Hi, I'm Avery Knight, oh. if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm 32 years old and I regularly date May Rider over there. When we're at the dock, we have a good sign. I call her Often Rider. When we're alone. But she doesn't get it, neither do I, to be fair. I help out on the barbecues when there's a regatta on. Willie Creek and I did have a falling out earlier today. Not for the first time. He was regularly, we regularly had blazing rounds at BA because he just bloody slowed things down, made more work for me. In fact, he was an obstacle to progress. And I did tell him he was a dead man. I'm not surprised somebody took him out. Willie was the most hated man at the dock. Well, Amy, you must have been the only person working at BAE then. I was. From what I hear. <laughs> Don't do it, over there. <laughs> Miss Lucy Drows. You were also heard agreeing with Avery Knight that Willie was a dead man and said if Avery did not get him first, then you would because he banged your dogs from coming to the dock due to their dog poop being everywhere. <laughs> Hello everybody, Hello. I'm Lucy, Lucy Draws. I'm 22 years of age. Um, oh, I'm studying some dog poo. Anyway, I'm 22 years of age and free love was my great until I met Mike Tackett over here. My Mike Tackett. Uh, it is true. I heard Avery and Willie arguing, and Avery did say that Willie was a dead man. Oh. But I said, <laughs> I said, if Avery didn't get him first, then I would, because he banned my dogs from coming to the dock, saying there was poop everywhere. Oof, oof. Anyway, it's such a heat wave this year. I know 1976 was a good year. Uh, anyway. Oh. Anyway, uh, the poop dries like chalk, so it's not anyone. Uh, 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 anyway, oh, actually no, I do have a nickel in my bag. And it, you know, it, it's bending down, picking me dogs up. It can be difficult. I mean, but how dare he ban my cute little doggies? Oh. Dolly Parton. <laughs> And Cindy Porford. <laughs> They're pleased to meet you. Anyway, uh, but did you know, Inspector, that whenever anything happened down at the dock, it was always Willie's fault. Always. Not any, just any time, but always. Anyway, that man did not do himself any favours. He was the most hated man at the dock. Now, Mike Tickle. That's oh. right, tackle. <laughs> 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 you were heard threatening Billy when he wouldn't let you have the boat name Cues Nuts. <laughs> he said it was totally inappropriate. You said that you, and I quote again, would see it that everyone knew he didn't like Hughes Nuts and you were going to kill him. Oh. What are you saying? Hello, everybody. I'm Mike Tackle, I'm 25, yeah. <laughs> and a bit, and I'm dating the lovely Lucy over here, Lucy No Jaws I call her. Now, at the club, I'm the man to come to if anything needs fixing, because I'm either in my boat or I'm in the shed. 
Now, it's true, I did threaten Willie earlier today at the dock. He said, my huge nuts was not an appropriate name for my boat. Can you believe that? <laughs> he wanted me to either rename her or remove her. I mean, if Arthur over here can have Lady Strider, why can't I have huge nuts? Because I've got them. You may want everything. Now, Willie was always a bit weird with me. I, worked with, I used to work with him down at Aerospace, and he was always getting out the company rule book and quoting it to me. He was a, really pain, he was a real pain in the bum. So, Cluso, two things are really true. Everything that goes wrong with the club is, uh, is his fault, and he was... The most hated man in the world. Thank you. <laughs> Winnie hands up. You and Willie had words, and I believe that for someone so petite, you had a massive pair of yes. lungs. <laughs> According to everyone at the dock, you could be heard for miles screaming, Willie! Sorry, screaming at Willie! <laughs> oh, brother in law, my Willie! You heard threatening to kill him at the dock earlier today. Now, quote again, you said, I will flatten that Willie. Oh. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Minnie. Um, I'm 18 years old. <laughs> and Honey is my cousin. I help to tend the plants at the dock. Like Honey, I too love sparkly things, they're groovy. You don't get many shiny things at the dock, but only this morning I saw something that caught my eye on Willie's boat. I stepped on board to see what it was, and Willie saw me. He began to have a hissy fit at me. Um, he threatened to ban me from the yard for stealing. I mean, I never stole anything, and he said that things had been going missing and that now we have proof it was me. Keeping my hands off is what I should do, he said. We argued, of course, and yes, for someone so little, I can shout. I did threaten to flatten Willie. In fact, I said, you call me a bloody thief again, you old get, and I'll flip him flatten you, and then I'll kill you, and nobody would mind, as you are the, the most, most hated man at the dock. Yeah. <laughs> Noted, very much, didn't Call another itis. <laughs> you were heard arguing with Willie inside your boat. Several people witnessed you making a proposition towards him, oh. and he flatly turned you down. You were heard saying that it had all been a misunderstanding, but if this got out, it would ruin your marriage. And you would see to it that he was in no position to speak about it, <coughs> ever. Oh, hi there. I'm Paula Nother. I'm 42 years old. <laughs> I am 42 years old. And there was a misunderstanding at the dock earlier today with Willie. He was getting his boat ready for a sail as he said there were no boats to launch that day. Anyway, his stanchions needed tightening and um, I offered to help and then his nuts kept spinning um, and, and called me up, yeah. Um, and he tightened things up, so I said I will go down below and hold his nuts for him. Um, and he started to call me all sorts of names. He said I was not pulling him ever. And he kicked me off his boat. He was very angry and said that he was going to tell my husband Arthur about my offer to hold his nuts. I shouted back that I could see why he was the most hated man of the dog. <laughs> well, full of the righteous, I've heard all about you from my Willie myself. When my wife and I would go for dinner, he used to tell me about your flirting and how fitting your name was. He said you had pulled you leave everything at the dock, including my Willie. Oh. <laughs> 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 you're flirting, 
Jackson saw you leaving single men's beds. Oh. <coughs> Wait, that's just not true. I'm just in a lot of men's cabins. <laughs> Helping them out, of course. Okay. Don't blooming believe this. I mean, look at May Ryder. She's a real flirt. Ooh. And has had more men than she's had hot dinners. I mean, she's got a couple of things that every sailor wants. <laughs> a tattoo of an angle in a hairy chest. <laughs> <laughs> well then, Miss Marida, if I may go with you next, perhaps you can answer some questions that are still perplexing me. Yes, of course, Inspector. Oh, sorry, the bubble's got lodged in my chest. Yes, I believe there's room for a couple of lodges in there. Oh, oh, really, Inspector? You don't know the half of it. It's not enough. Okay. Very you seemed in a hurry to know your boat. Why? Avery was a little off with me recently, and I needed a man, you see. Ooh. Scottish Jimmy over here, he's very nice, he's very friendly towards me. He's always peering around my yeah. boat yeah. at me. I thought he was going to strain his neck the other day. Anyway, Avery isn't in interested in me anymore. He has another love. With just a few words, he made me go from a high to a low. What are you going on about woman? You don't like the bloody weather you are with your eyes and lows. <laughs> okay, I know what I mean when I say high over low and you're in for a blow. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I might seek comfort in Jimmy's arms. Funny really, isn't it, how you never hardly get your first choice and you eventually end up with, or even your second or your third for that. Matter. Or your fourth or your fifth. You said nothing was going on between the sheets for you and Jimmy when I caught him on board your boat early last week. He said he was just inspecting your porthole. Is that what you're talking about? Now? Are you making a point, Avery, or are you just having a northern ramp? That's bloody northern ramp, really. Is that the best you can come up with, you two timing in cheek? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Stop you there. I said, yeah. thought I would give it a go with Jimmy. Have a Has just found out, as a matter of fact, nothing has happened yet. Yeah, you're welcome to him. A wee bonny lass half me age thinks I'm a right. Good eh? Do you ken what I mean? <laughs> now, no, that is not for that. Jimmy is on thin ground. He really knew he was copping a look at all the women. He told me he was just getting enough evidence together. 